This year's Freeze Art Fair has started as more than 190 contemporary galleries converge on the Randors Island. We are here now inside of the fair's iconic tent to find out what Chinese galleries have to offer. From May 14th to 17th, enter the temporarily constructed white tent on Randors Island. The fourth annual New York edition of the Freeze Art Fair took place. As always, the best reason to come to the fair is to see arts from galleries outside of New York. Four Chinese galleries, Long March Space, Boris Lee Gallery, Liu Xu Projects, and Atena Space are bringing about 20 Chinese artists' works to this year's Freeze audience. The two uh, leaders of uh, the big groups of uh, the, the late 70s, Wu Ming and Star. We show also some younger artists like uh, Le Quang He, uh, Xue Feng, uh, Chen Yunjun. And uh, yeah, I think it's a very interesting uh, group uh, together, different kind of uh, approaches. The Wu Ming painters were the first to experiment with abstraction, but Zhang Wei was one of the most outstanding of the group and did a lot with sort of gestural painting. And the works that you see here are very interesting, not only for their use of color, but in the way that he's using abstraction in a very gestural way, very personal, very emotive. This year's Freeze New York was still uh, try to organize a more focused group exhibition. So we uh, present artists ranging from uh, young artists to mid-career to very established artists. For this year, a new artist that we bring here is Zhang Hui, whose style is defines so-called new paintings in China. And uh, I think his works are pretty particular, even attracted by our New York uh, viewers audience. This year my gallery brings Shanghai-based new media artist Ao Zhao's works. My gallery represents many young Chinese conceptual artists. Many of them use photography, video, new materials to create works. Ao Zhao has been very popular both online and offline these years and I think New York audiences want to know more about Asian artists and their works that adopt different media. So if Ao Zhao's works at Freeze Art Fair this year, we can make a statement that Chinese artists are not limited to discussing topics such as society politics and the weather. They also have desires to express their concerns about new medium and cultural tendency. The series I'm presenting here is called Body Shadow. It's about producing tattoo images by using the theory of Chinese traditional medicine. Based on the meridian, or Jing Luo system, I created a particle system. Within this system, I used particle movement to create a tattoo image. So the procedure and imagery content are specific, just like the way that modern people start quantifying themselves and their bodies. Yet what I want to address through this project is that human being is a nebulous concept. It has countless possibilities. So under the background of digital age and information age, how to keep us from not being quantified is an interesting topic. And this is a Beijing-based artist. His name is Liu Ding. For this show, we are bringing and showcasing a socialist realism series that he has been uh, researching and working on for the last few years. There we have a collage, photography, painting, and also video installation. So uh, this project addresses about uh, how philosophy, ideology, and aesthetics transfer into a different meaning as far as the context of everything changes. While the Freeze Art Fair has fueled a surge in art market activity and multi-million dollar deals closed under the white tent, exhibiting Chinese galleries also express that they aim higher than just making business deals. It really depends on the, our artists' activities and depends very on their current state uh, condition of working. I just want to uh, make more contact with the local uh, institutions and curators. I want to learn more about what uh, the curators are, you know, uh, from institutions are uh, interested in. We want to share our artists in different sectors instead of just having high sales. By participating in the Freeze Art Fair, we want our artists to be seen by museums, curators, press, audiences, and in the upcoming one or two years, have their exhibitions open overseas. For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net. Reporting for Sanovision Journal, I'm Jane Stone.